For line work I mainly use O3 Micron Pen or Pentel Finito Pen. For small details like these teeth I always use O05 Micron Pen. The Microns are good because they don't really bleed. The O5 Pen is the thinnest size I know. The Finito Pen's ink flows nice and you can vary your line, but you have to be careful not to bleed and smudge. I wait to put some details in with ink. This is so I don't smudge my pencils. Sometimes the lines are easy and chances of messing up are low. This also saves me time from going over every little detail twice. I like to use the Finito pen to color in black areas because of how nice the ink flows out. The main type of hatching I use is a combination of regular hatching and feathering. I move my hatching lines along the shape of the figure. It's curved so I have lines that curve horizontally and lines that curve vertically. The closer the intersection between the lines, the darker the shadow. For something black like the alien, you can fill in more black to get the impression of it being black. The ends of the hatching should be looser and less closed together. This gives it more of a gradient as shadows don't abruptly end. Regular hatching is better for flat surfaces like walls. If you make small mistakes, you can use a white jelly rolling pen to cover up some straight lines. You can also use it to put in highlights. I hope these inking tips were helpful and I can answer more questions in the comments. Rendering is pretty easy. It just takes patience. Good luck and don't stop drawing.